on the highway and I would see this Woo! Woo! Scared, scared the shit out of me motherfucker oh my god what okay what is up guys and girls today I am coming at you from Slauson Avenue in Staten Island New York and one thing I want to tell you right off the bat is that I am loving the onyx oh my god this is bringing back so many so many thrills taking me back to the days where I used to ride motorcycle so in today's video what I would like to do is tell you about this little tell you about this little gem it is an area in Staten Island that I've never been to before but the Staten Island Zoo that's right Staten Island has a zoo oh, 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 oh and it looks like it's all decorated for for Halloween how cool is that Oh my god, damn! With all the money we spend on taxes, and this is the road that I must travel on. Hell no, this bike lane sucks. Fucking roadkill. Alright, so let's see where we're going. What is this area called? Oh, oh, oh. So it's victory. What up close? Ah oh, ha ha ha. Okay, a little backstory to this ride today. Uh so I've been living in Staten Island right now. Uh, been living in Staten Island for about six years. Um, before that, I worked on the island, and I lived in Brooklyn. So every day on my commute, no signal. Good job. Every day on my commute, I would look to the left on the highway, and I would see this. Woo! Scared the shit out of me, motherfucker. Oh my god, what the fuck? What's up? You need to slow it down a little bit. Slow it down, bro. A fucking ADP 6478 fucking speeder there's people like that that make it dangerous to ride a bike in New York anyway where was I going with that story before I got the shit scared out of me alright so uh, There's this mountain on the side, left side of the highway on my commute, and I always wanted to visit it. So the other day, I went, of course, camera settings weren't the best, 
so I didn't get the footage that I want. So I figured, let me go back and visit it on the day when the sun is setting, like today. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to visit it. It's called Emerson Hill. And Emerson Hill is a hidden gem. Man, it's beautiful. Small little winding streets. Beautiful homes. Nice place to raise a family. If you're heading towards the highway on Clove Road, you need to pass the highway. So you'll go over the highway and keep going straight. There's only two ways you can go, straight or left. That'll lead you to Emerson Hill. And here we go. This is solitude, tranquility. This is where you go when you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of New York. Get away from the sirens and loud noises. Very quiet. Sorry, little guy. Didn't hear me coming, huh? Sea bike is quiet. Check out that sunset. And the views of the Verrazano that you get from up here are amazing. Came up through here the other day and the dog almost bit me. Wasn't on his leash. Came running right after me. I will be quiet now. Just enjoy the view. Oh, look at that view. Did you see it? Taking that view. I hope the GoPro can pick it up. That is amazing. Oh, did you see that? Beautiful.
Check out that view. Emerson Hill has two ways in and out. One, you enter through Clove Road. The other, you'll enter through uh, Richmond Road. And that's the way we're exiting. But it is beautiful up here. Hope you enjoyed the tour of Emerson Hill. <clears throat> now we exit on Richmond Road. And let's hit the bike trail, South Beach. City roads, man. Horrible. Although I did ride the Super 73 RX the other day, and the suspension on that was amazing. And I know that, well, I think anyway, that my suspension is adjustable. So as soon as my mechanic neighbor comes back from his vacation, um, I'll take you along. We'll try and adjust them together. Oh, and incidentally, I want to take this time to thank everybody for watching the videos, for your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. Really appreciate that. Where are we now? Richmond Road. It's a cool, windy road. Speed limit, I think, was just posted at, uh, I want to say 30 miles an hour. Uh, people would fly through this road. Oh my God. Yep, it is 30 miles an hour. And incidentally, you'll notice that on my right-hand side coming up here is a speed camera. Staten Island is notorious for those speed cameras. Well, speed light and red light cameras. I think there's more cameras on Staten Island than there are in any other borough. And it's one of the smallest boroughs. And if that's not true, they de definitely generate more money than any other borough. That's why there's so many here. Uh, 
I thought I'd let you know that this bike was fully charged. Uh, I think it was 83.6 volts. I'm running it at a, in normal mode. I especially like the normal mode because uh, I don't think 20 miles an hour is, is fast enough in these streets. What can we talk about? Let's talk about vlogging. Speaking to a camera isn't my strong point, nor is a conversation. Definitely need a topic when I go out. Winging it doesn't work. You'll notice there's a lot of jumps and that's because I'm cutting from trying to say one thing and actually uh, getting it out. I will try and make this a continuous video without any cuts. It's probably not going to happen, especially in the beginning. I struggled. But uh, I think if it's continuous, you guys can enjoy the roads. Out here in Staten Island, the roads are really nice. So apparently 36 miles an hour is not fast enough for the Audi. <laughs> uh, I guess that's why Staten Island has so many speed cameras. Who am I to talk? I'm doing 35, 36. Whoa, another mother. I tell you, people are stupid, man. I'm leaving my headlight on and changing lanes and picking up the speed because apparently 36 miles an hour is not fast enough. Okay. And to my right is the infamous Todd Hill. And someone corrected me and said, hey, you're pronouncing it wrong. It's Toad Hill. And then someone else corrected that person and said, no, it's Todd Hill. He said it correctly. So this to me is the infamous Todd Hill or if you choose Toad Hill and it will be forever infamous because this is where I had to push the bike for about one mile from here to my house so ever since then I've been doing a better job of monitoring the uh, voltage and about 72 73 volts maybe I'll start turning around and coming home Okay, had to pull over my battery died um, <laughs> I brought two batteries with me and <laughs> one of the uh, One of the batteries I brought was dead also real nice, right? All right, so I'm off route I'm turning around now and going Back up to Richmond Road as best I can. A uh, little rusty on those turns, as you can see. I have to stop saying that. As you can see, I hate when when people say that. As you can see, like duh. Obviously, I'm looking at the video. All right, at this light, I'm making a left and I'm back on route, Richmond Road. I'm gonna take Richmond Road all the way down, probably the Great Kills National Park, maybe not, no, I'm not. Take Richmond Road down to, uh, 
Uh, let's do the beginning of the bike trail and we'll hit the bike trail back. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so I'm gonna take Richmond Road down to uh, Amboy Road, I believe. Make a left maybe on the uh, Guyon Avenue. Take Guyon Avenue all the way down to the bike trail. Hit the bike trail all the way down from Guyon Avenue to the Verrazano Bridge and work my way back home. 78 volts. I should be able to make it. Okay, bam, let's talk about what, what's the next thing that popped into my head. Did you understand that? No? All right, let's talk about the next thing that popped up in my head. Let's talk about this Onyx. This Onyx bike is amazing. It's the best investment I've ever made. It is the cure for boredom. I'm sorry, well, I'm one wheel, but I think Onyx got you. Like my signal. See, that was good. Talking about how good the bike is. How about them brakes? Can you see the moon? Let's get away from this reckless rider. Oh, I can't. It's tight. It's tight. It is tight. But he is reckless. Let's get away from him, shall we? Sorry. Oh, I messed up big time. I said I was going down Guy and then I'm born. I turned down New Dork. Okay, I don't know what road this is, but this might bring us all the way down to Guyon. Guyon is where I want to go. That's nice. Nice place for pictures. Ain't that the coolest style? My man couldn't even run. Gotta hold up his pants. Huh? All right, right turn, where are we? 10th Street? Right turn on 10th Street? And hopefully tension can take us all the way down to Guyan. find out sound like a motorcycle coming up behind me let's wait till he passes and then we'll show him what we got oh yeah let's document that oh I got played he's not coming there goes another speed camera I don't know about your city, your state. Uh, our speed cameras are like uh, quarter moon shaped. 
red light cameras are like a box and red light cameras you'll know it's a red light camera if you look on the uh, the road the asphalt will have like a square shape kind of embedded into the uh, the asphalt so if you're not running your navigation because you know your navigation should tell you if there's a red light camera or a speed camera up ahead those are, if you're not running the navigation those are some of the things you can look out for Sometimes it's blatantly obvious and the speed camera just sticks out like a sore thumb. Other times it's hidden behind a tree. So we went from Onyx to speed cameras and let's go back to Onyx. So I'm really loving this bike. This thing is fast. It is fast. You don't have to worry about a thing. You don't have to worry about going up a hill. No incline is too small for this bike. The speed is there. If you need to just take off on someone. The braking, as you saw earlier. That car just stopped really short in front of me. And I was able to stop without a problem. So things like that, small things, well, not that small. Uh, all right, so I'm off track again. I turned down, uh, what is this? Tyson's Lane, turned down Tyson's Lane instead of Guyon. Well, I guess we'll hit the trail from Tyson's Lane. I didn't make it all the way to Guyon. But you know what? 76 volts. Yeah, I think I can do it. I spoke so much of Guyon Avenue. Let's just turn down this road. We're going to make a right at this stop sign this is a mill road I take mill road all the way down we're gonna take it down to guy and then pass guy and there's a little turnaround over there should look cool at night oh I didn't even stop not good you see things like that I might want to edit out of the video but I am not perfect so I'll just let it play so this is one of the cool parts. Check out these turns. Makes me feel like I'm on a motorcycle. Now, I think down this street, there's an opening in the, uh, well, you know what? Nah, I'm not going down this. I think down that street, there's an opening to the bike trail, but it's kind of like an off-road bike trail, better for uh, mountain bikes. Don't know how uh, these tires would handle it. And I do, do not want to experiment. Okay, so at the end of the mill road, you'll come to a loop around and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna loop around here and head back hit the bike trail go see what the view is like at the Verrazano my voltage is pretty good mmm that would have been nice to capture on a 360. Oh my god, the bumps. Pay attention, young man.
Hey, if you're still listening, let me know how's my audio. Right now, I have the visor cracked open a little bit, so there is some wind coming inside. <clears throat> the microphone I'm using is a it's a relatively inexpensive lav mic, and uh, it has one of those dead cats on it. <clears throat> what a name, right? Dead cat. But yeah, it's a little hairy device that uh, that wraps around the microphone. So I'm curious what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. How is my audio? Is it good? Is it bad? And I don't think I mentioned it, but if I did, I'm going to tell you again. I switched when my batteries died. I switched from uh, from 4K 60 frames per second on this GoPro Hero 10 to 2.7K, also at 60 frames per second. Let me know about that video quality. How is it? Is it good? I'm losing light here. 30 frames would be better, but at 2.7K, I didn't see it in the option. I mean, in the menu. Senior living in Staten Island. It's looking pretty good. All right, where does the bike trail go, huh? That's what you wanna know. Well, let's make a right. Let's go down here. We are on Newdorp Lane. Newdorp Lane will take you straight to the bike trail. That'll lead you to South Beach. Now, if you wanted to come to the beach in Staten Island, there's a couple ways you can get here. Uh, just so you know, mass transit will bring you here. There is a bus, it's the uh, S51. And um, depending on how you get into Staten Island, uh, you can take the S51, it'll bring you to South, uh, South Beach. You know Staten Island is accessible by the ferry, Staten Island Ferry. If you're coming in from Manhattan, you can take the Staten Island, South Fer uh, Staten Island Ferry and uh, transfer for the uh, S51, take you down here. Keep in mind, you can bring your bike, it's a beautiful bike trail, even at night. Check out that moon. I heard the moon is going to be a full moon come... Uh, Come Halloween, if that doesn't get you all excited for Halloween, I don't know what will. All right, so I could have gone straight down that road and that'll lead me to the uh, to the bike trail. But this road here, give you a little tour of Miller Field on my left. You see a lot of uh, kids from uh, Newdorp High School playing uh, soccer here. Nice place to come and relax, lie in the grass. If it's sunny, come over here with these trees, give you some shade. Walk your dog. And if you walk your dog, please, please pick up that shit. I'm sorry, curb your dog. Ain't nothing worse than walking in sandals and stepping in a pile of shit. Alright, so coming up will be the entrance to this bike trail over here on my right. And that's how we'll do it.
got that evil eye from that Karen. I had to start pedaling. Okay, so on this road, I will watch my speed. Let's see who we see. I've seen a few Super 73s on this trail. Maybe we get lucky and see one today. Even on the bike trail, it's bumpy. Those signs are a constant reminder. COVID-19, six feet apart. That was pretty cool.
that's 40 bikes so far and if you're coming up this road on your right hand side right there is a beautiful view Don't you think? Let's check out the pier at night. always when you come on this pier if you're on a bike stay to your left it's a little drop off there won't be pretty unless you're on a Suron Nice place to chill with your loved one. If you're a fisherman, I've seen some pretty big striped bass being caught from this pier. That's pretty. Very pretty view. Now, I saw that girl wearing a mask, and she's outside. I don't know about you, but... Do you really feel the need to wear a mask outside? The whole reason to come outside is to get some fresh air, in it? Why are you wearing a mask? It's just my opinion. Just saying. Haha, now that's e-power. I wish I had one of those when I was a kid.
let's put some pep in this step. 10 miles an hour is too slow, I think, even for a bike trail. People say you're right, we should be good. It's the people that are on the bike trail we gotta worry about. 13 miles an hour, and I still feel like that's fast. I don't know how much battery that headlamp uh, consumes, but it's awfully bright. So that's why I keep it off. Unless, of course, there's people on the bike trail. Thin Grill. Never been there. I've never tried their food, but it is definitely a place where I'd like to come and eat. So as you can see, it's a great trail, great place to come and get some air, maybe even some exercise, take pictures, Go for a stroll with your loved one and pick up your checkers. What's up, man? <laughs> and it looks like we have made it to the end. No, we haven't. Okay. So this boardwalk does come to an end. There's a point where you will not be able to go anymore. You'll have to turn around. But it's a great place to take pictures. That bridge is pretty. I won't go all the way to the end, but it is coming up shortly. What I will do is uh, there's a ramp that leads you down to the bike trail that will take you to the Arizona Bridge. That's where I'm going. I'm down to 75.6 volts, 13 miles an hour. Hit that 74 volt mark and I am heading home. Just be careful when you come down this ramp because it's usually filled with sand. Not today, thank God. And boom. Bank right. Jump back on the bike trail and take that bike trail to to the bridge it's real dark here so I'll keep the light on not sure how well this uh, GoPro is gonna is going to portray what I'm seeing 
because it's bright enough for me to ride. <laughs> you should pause it and read Gateway National Recreational Area, Fort Wadsworth, Staten Island Unit. Now you tell me, was that guy going down too fast? I know I was going that fast. That reminds me of a time when I took my Onyx out for the first ride. Battery died. I believe this is a campground. You could rent I don't know if it's a cabin or if you bring your own tent, but you can rent something and uh, sleep here, camp tonight. The uh, sunrises here are beautiful, so if that's something you're thinking about, you'll have something beautiful to wake up to besides your significant other. Seventy-five volts. Drop one more volt, and I'm heading home. But I think I have enough power to get you to the top. Let's get to the top of this hill. And show you the view. Let's go 360. Let's do that 360 at night. See what that looks like. Maybe we'll throw some music on at this point. <sighs> Let's get a little closer, show you that view. What do you think? All right. No, maybe not. All right, at this point, I think I'm going to start heading home, getting close to that 74 volt mark. Plus my butt is hurting. <clears throat> A 
there's padding in this seat, but it kind of gets here after a little while. All right, which way to go? 75 volts. What's the fastest route home? Could take the side of the highway. Maybe that's what we'll do. So we have left the trail behind. The trail loops around, loops to the right, heads down the hill, and then it goes back. The it meets up to the same area where we uh, where we reared left to go look at the uh, the bridge. Okay, up ahead is School Road. I'm gonna make a left here and take that to towards the highway. But of course, I'm not getting on the highway. I think that's the fastest route home. And we're getting close to that threshold where we need to get home before that battery dies. So it incident incidentally, if this uh, recording cuts off, just wanted to give you guys a thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the hidden gem, Staten Island's hidden gem. The views from up there, the homes, the roads, all of that was uh, was definitely something I wanted to share with you guys. So if this video cuts out, you know that, that I wanted to thank you for watching. Thank you for your support with likes, comments, things like that. It's greatly appreciated. And I guess until the next one, peace out, everybody.